Okay. Well, the one good thing after you've done a razor cut is the diffusion of the texture of the hair it makes it very easy for you to back comb the hair if you're going to do some kind of a chignon. So I'm just going to show you a very uh, quick way to do a French pleat. Probably one of the easier methods. And after we've got a little bit of back coming in the hair, just hold it with a little tiny bit of spray. And then I start to bring the hair around. I'm using a brush, but I'm using only the edge of the brush. Uh, I think I'm going to leave a little bit of hair out. Just for the heck of it. And take that up. Just interlock a couple of very long bobby pins. And then I'm going to bring this hair around. Again, just bring it out across. Again, I'm going to leave a little bit of the hair out just because I I'll just put it one two actually. I'll come around here, take the hair up, flip it around, tuck it in. Take another bobby pin. You don't want to make these too neat and tidy, otherwise they kind of lose their sort of feel for just having been kind of thrown up. And I'm just leaving that out in the back there because I feel like it. Of the comb. And again, don't, don't want to go around there and fiddle it, make it look a little bit looser and softer like it's already starting to fall apart a little bit because of a sort of a lived in look. And there you go. So it's as quick as that, that you can just take the hair and with that little bit of back combing that you put in the hair, which is so easy uh, because of working with the feather razor. That you put the teasing in and then just sweep it around, bring one side over, put a clip in, wrap the other side around, two pins, and you're done.